What is up you guys? Hope you are having a good day. Today we have a little bit more of a casual video, but I think it is also a very helpful video. At least for me in the past, it's been very helpful, uh, especially saving a lot of money. <laughs> so if you're like me and you go thrifting a lot, you know, you can't really obviously always try the clothes on, whether you're doing stuff from eBay or Poshmark. You can't, you can't try them on, so you just take these people's measurements and you just trust them. And sometimes they come in absolutely wrong, <laughs> just way off. And that is the case with a few items that I have now. A lot of the times when things are too small, you know, you like to return them, they just don't fit. But there's a way, in a very easy and cheap way, that you can just stretch them out and they become the perfect size for you. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video today. So we have this vintage sweatshirt right here and it's just way too small. Like the sleeves barely even reach my wrist. Um, so these need to be longer. It's it's soup. It's like skin. It's like a I'm wearing like a workout shirt right now. It just needs to be baggier. It's too tight in the chest area. Um, it's just too tight all around. Everything needs to be kind of elongated, lengthened. This needs. It's just we're gonna be stretching this bad boy. So that's what we're doing. So the things you're gonna need for this are the clothes in question, some warm water and some conditioner, and that's all you need. So we're gonna let that sit in the sink, in the water, in the conditioner for about 30 minutes. Let it marinate, let it soak up all of the uh, nice conditioned water. What it does is the conditioner kind of acts as like a fiber loosener. So all of that cotton or if it's wool or whatever it may be, um, it'll loosen up those fibers so you can stretch it. And then when the once you stretch it and it dries, it'll stay in that shape, in that position to whatever you, whatever you stretched it to. So this really only works as well as it does with like sweaters and sweatshirts and tops. I've never really tried it with pants or anything like that. I don't know why you would need to do them on pants, but yeah, I just use them on my tops really. So that's what it does. We'll be back in 30 minutes. After you've dried it out, don't wring it, just roll it and squeeze. Uh, then you can start stretching it wherever you need to. All right, I'm outside now. It is stretched, it is ready to set in place. I have it outside, letting it dry since it's like, 100 degrees outside. Don't let it dry in the sun, just let it air dry. And then I will show you the finished results once it is done. You can pretty much do this, like I said, with any type of sweater, sweatshirt, t-shirt, that kind of stuff. All right, so we're here on day two. I had to let it dry outside, but uh, as you can tell, the sleeves actually have some bagginess to them, some length. Same with the body. It's not like, you know, stuck to my chest like a muscle tee, so I mean, this is a success, huh, you? You successfully have stretched out your garment. With this one, I love it. It's like, you know, nice and kind of slim, kind of trim. And yeah, you can pretty much do that with like, I mean, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna be doing it with this one. You can do it with t-shirts. You can do it with sweaters, if you get a sweater that's too tight on you. Um, so you can do a lot of things with just some water and some conditioner. It's all you need to do. And then, uh, you know, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a very quick video. I hope you uh, learned something. You don't have to return it. You can just stretch it out a little bit and technically it might fit you better. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys do to make clothes fit you better. If you stretch them, if you shrink them, um, some DIY things that you do. So I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a good day. 